Good morning, everybody. It's Lynn, the leather bag lady. How are you all today? It is Tuesday today and the sun is just streaming through my window. If you can see them all shiny on this side of my head. Um, it is a beautiful, beautiful day. As I said, leather bag lady weather report. I'm not sure how hot it's supposed to get today. But all I know is I have done laundry this morning, I have had the dryer on, and I have yet to turn the air conditioning back on. However, I did turn it off on Friday. I forgot to turn it back on. And when we got home Sunday night, it was pretty damn hot in here. So I have to remember to turn it back on. So how are you all this morning? It is, uh, what is it, 10 to 11 I've been busy uh, doing chores and getting some bags organized and talking to my mom and my dad and blah de blah de blah So today's bag. Roots, it's time for another Roots installment. Every now and again, I will um, decide that I'm going to part with uh, another one of my Roots. I have a whole bunch of them in storage. Um, I don't know where they are, but these are roots that I have picked up, mostly from Marketplace, actually, because they are just not in the thrift stores anymore. So, um, you know, pricing is going up, as is with everything, because uh, Marketplace is typically a little bit more expensive than I would find in, uh, in the thrift stores. But um, anyway... This little bag is absolutely a gorgeous. It is one of the, um, I believe it's a 90s. I think they're called Emily bags. I'm not sure. It is absolutely cute, cute, cute. Now, what I love about this, if you follow me, you know how I feel about this color, this kind of deep burgundy almost like an ox blood color is just gorgeous there's your little root stamp on the bottom you've got a couple of tiny little pockets here which i don't know i mean i'm always uh rooting through my bag for my lip balms and you could probably get a, a set of keys or something in there and equally on the other side the interior, this bag, I don't even think it's been used. It is in absolutely pristine condition. You have a zip. There's your stamp inside. Your roots made in Canada. It used to say made in Toronto, but now it says made in Canada. Um, the strap, there, there really isn't much movement on the strap because if you put it to this button, then you're not going to get it through the loop. So... I believe it is a 14 inch strap drop. So it's a pretty good strap drop. Now, we've talked about this many, many times. These little shoulder um, kind of pouchette bags are very much back in. And this is kind of a roots offering in that regard. It's got the little uh, beaver hang tag. It's just gorgeous. These little loops are for nothing other than decoration. I do believe all the hardware is brass. So there is a little bit of weight to this guy. I mean, the leather is so thick. I mean, look at that. It is just fantastic. So this little one I've been hanging on to just because I love the color. I mean, I would never use this. This is way too small for me. Um, but look at the nails. Don't they look Fabulous. I had a thumb injury this morning, so I fixed it up, but it's kind of crap. So I used a, a form for this one and I didn't on this one, but oh, I love them. I just love it. <laughs> nail update, nail update. Anyway, so back to the bag. <laughs> it is a cutie. It really, really is. So that has been listed this morning and ready for a new home. So all my Roots lovers out there, um, this is a really nice one. So that is that. Yesterday, um, we didn't really do much yesterday. I had a funny old day yesterday. I just felt tired and just, I don't know. I was thinking maybe it's withdrawal from the trailer. I'm not sure. But there's just so much I have to do. And I get very overwhelmed. And I was talking to Pius about it last night. Like I need to 
Like I need to start getting the house ready for the ceilings, which is just a job I really am not looking forward to doing. And I'm not doing anything about it. And the more I don't do anything about it, the more stressed it is making me. We've still got shit all over the place. And I was saying to Pius, we've lived here now for what? April, May, June, July, August. So five months coming into six months. We pretty well know now what we are using and what we aren't using. I mean, I'm do I do laundry two, three times a week. Do we need all the clothes that we have? I know I certainly don't. I seem to be maintaining. I've lost a little bit of weight again. Um, so I seem to kind of be maintaining my weight. So I don't need the tubs of really fat clothes, kind of fat clothes, feeling really good clothes. Like, do you think you'll ever get in that shit again, clothes? <laughs> I've got like five wardrobes and I just can't hang on to all of it so I've got to go through it again and we've actually we were talking about the trailer and how you know there's a quite a bit of storage there and storage we're not really using and is there anything from here that we could store at the trailer I don't really because during the winter months there's no hydro there's you know so you have to be really careful what it is you're going to store um, probably not much of anything I wouldn't have thought, but anyway, it's available to us. We're paying for it. So yeah, it needs, we need to, I need to, then there's just the upkeep, the cleaning and the, you know, mopping the floors and uh, I would so rather be playing with bags, but it stares me in the face all day long and it just makes me feel a little bit anxious so I've got to I figure if I can come up with a little schedule where I'm doing something you know like a work schedule I mean when you start a new job you have an, a previous employee who's going to train you hopefully and maybe give you a list of what needs to get done every day so I'm thinking maybe I tackle it that way because I do do my lists but the things on my lists are really kind of things that I want to do <laughs> things that I don't want to do so I mean Pius is awesome he doesn't really seem to care you know as he said you feed me you put clean clothes on my back and he says so there's clutter around oh well it's your job which it pretty well is so ah I don't know we'll see we'll see how far I get with that one the gym was not too bad today. Um, I found a new uh, ab machine because I do those plank things. And I've been doing it for two and a half years now. Pretty well, like th two, three times a week. And it has actually helped. Like I, I mean, not that I'm ever going to be muscle bound woman or anything like that as much as I would like to be. Um, I don't work out that hard, but I do. You know, as you know, I go three, four times a week and I work hard. I mean, I'm not dripping in sweat or anything, but I do work up a sweat and I have started walking. But I need a replacement for the planks because I'm getting bored. So I found this machine today and we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And um, and I mean, this is actually a slow time in the gym come September and then right through to probably January, February, it is insane. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But that is about it. I've got more bags here drying. This uh, beauty is as I take it off the elliptical. <laughs> Check this guy out. That's going to be coming in the next day or two. But I had some work to do on it. Some of the corners were pretty beat up. And I've got some moisturizing to do back here. But isn't that fun? So I'm always working. I'm always working on bags for you guys. And just um, feeding my own fire. Oh, there's a FedEx. Am I expecting anything? Nope. <laughs> I can see how people get addicted to Amazon. I really can. Because it is so easy just to, like, we're thinking about maybe making a little fairy village in the back of the trailer. I have a stone little mushroom house here. Actually, it's quite big. It's a, when my two kids were little, 
they would visit their auntie Pat and uncle John and they told them fairies lived in there and they used to go to that house and they would sit. I mean, it's stone. It's not anyway. So pious his little granddaughter and, um, he has another little one. Uh, his other daughter has, uh, Lydia who is just, has just turned a year last month. I said, you know, I'd love to make a little, uh, fairy village back there for them just I like the twinkle lights and all that stuff too but it is quite dense it's quite wooded behind the trailer and I don't spend a lot of time back there because I just get eaten alive like we were having a chat last night and Pius grabbed my arm he goes did you get bitten I said yep one and two and he's just like what is it I must be my limey blood or something but they just love me. So I don't go back there very much, but I certainly would love to have it all lit up. And, and I could just see Tegan. I could just see her wanting to go and see the fairies. And because um, half the time I'm away with the fairies. <laughs> anyway, So we talked about that and we went out for a little bit of a drive. My sister wanted uh, to use my mom and dad's Coleman stove, which we still had here from our days with the van. So we went and dropped that off and we just went for a little bit of a drive. It was quite warm in here yesterday. So, um, and I mean, I did see my clients yesterday, but I don't know. Pius, again, was so much pain last night. He's like, just cut my arm off, just cut it off. And I'm like, I wish I could do something for you because he's not sleeping. So when he comes home, he'll go for a little bit of a nap. He says he's not going to do it every day. He says he's not going to do it, but I make him because... We're not 20 anymore. How long can you go with almost no sleep? But anyway, folks, hopefully you're having a great day. And I know there was something else I want to talk to you about, but I can't remember what it is. Um, no, it's gone. It's absolutely gone. So have a wonderful day, everybody. And I will talk to you tomorrow.